heat no wait what wait, wait what was it called protect it read Rhonda hey everybody and welcome today's video is the unboxing of our May 2021 boxycharm base box this was sent over to me in PR I have gone ahead and tried a majority of all of the products in here so I can give you all a review we did create this eye look using one of the products in here so before we jump into the video as always if you are new here hi hello and welcome my name's Rhonda and over here we always embrace the hot mess because it's a judge free drama free stress free zone where we sit back relax act a little goofy get majorly coffee strong and just have a good old time keeping it cute or putting it on mute let's go ahead and jump on in Before we get into the unboxing my shirt is from Ashley Stewart my hair is from Moroccan oil color depositing lilac conditioner I'll have that linked and listed down below if y'all are interested and if you are shopping Ashley Stewart make sure to use your Rakuten not sponsored or affiliated or anything just just a way to save some money because who doesn't love to do that so a little information about the May BoxyCharm base box the base box is $25 a month and you do get to customize one item in the box now now, again, this was sent over to me in PR, so I did not get to customize. I did get to pick my shade, and uh, so let's just go ahead and jump on it. Before we do that, I'm so sorry. Some of y'all do ask me what the weight of my box is, so hopefully you guys can um, sneaky peeky figure out if this is the box that you do receive. Now, my base and my premium do come together, so I do don't have like separate emails for that so I have a male scale and it did come to one pound 7.8 ounces okay so when we open it up we do have a postcard in here and the postcard is themed every single month this one is a boxy charm flourish and on the other side we do have all the information about what is in the box the retail value little information and everything about each item it does have as I drop it it does have a new variation code and it is if you are interested c2105043 dash ba so jumping into the first item in the box is by dry bar and i told you all how much i was loving seeing dry bar or a heat protectant in our base box i feel like this is something that in the past we've seen in like the premium or the luxe but this is the hot toddy and this is the heat protectant mist it does have a retail value of 27 dollars. it is a lightweight spray that protects dry hair from heat styling with curling curling straightening and styling irons up to 450 degrees i personally love heat protectants 10 out of 10 would recommend i feel like it just really protects the integrity of your hair and it's not going to cause any type of damage or it's going to help prevent any type of damage to your hair here lately i've been a little lazy and i've only just been blow drying my hair but i still use a heat protectant so this is definitely something i'm going to use when i do like curl or straight iron or what have you but really excited to see that the next item in here was a choice item now again the box is $25 a month and you do get to customize the one item and this they did let me choose my shade this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand so a little information before I get into my thoughts on this and I will have a video popping up showing you all how I applied it this does have a retail value of $27 and it says it is an instant eye lift in a tube sheer liquid brightener let your skin come through to deliver a natural lit from within youthful glow diamond complex delivers a soft focus finish includes removable sponge for an on-the-go blending so I did choose the shade light and I told you guys when we were talking about the choices and sneak peeks and everything I mean it does say in here that it is in fact a sheer liquid brightener and with that in mind I told you all I felt like it was going to be very very similar to which I always keep both sitting literally right in front of me for my no makeup makeup days my Tatcha Pearl and my Rodile Banana Low Lighter and these two products I will say 
this reminds me spot on of both of these so with that being said i don't recommend this as a concealer it's not meant to be a concealer you'll see in the video that i kind of used it as a you know a brightener highlighter what have you now here's where you need to be really careful if you're like me and you have large pores my ding dong backside dragged it down a little too close to those large pores it is going to accentuate that very similar to the rodial one i will say consistency does remind me a lot of the rodial where you have a little bit maybe just just itty bitty teeny tiny 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 bit more coverage than you do with the tatcha so as far as this goes this is something that when i use these kind of products it's because i don't feel like putting makeup on in the video you see that i've done put like my whole you know face on i've got my concealer my foundation everything is on and then i added this i think if you want to use this as a highlighter you definitely could i think it would be very beautiful um but for me this is just something on those days where i just use a tinted moisturizer and then want to brighten up this area be very careful a little goes a long way with it as it says this sponge is removable so you can clean it i did personally for me i like to just use my fingers but i did want to show that you know that is an option i do like the sponge in here it is soft it's not like that hard plasticky type of feel or anything but um yeah for me this is just not something that i want to add to my foundation concealer full face makeup routine but again like i said from the get-go a very easy you know no makeup but i slept a little bit better than you think because my husband snored all night this would be a very good option for that that was a really weird review but welcome to my channel we're not profess here okay so the next item in the box is by first aid beauty and i absolutely love this i do have one currently open and this is wonderful this is the coconut skin smoothie primer moisturizer this is a full size moisturizer it is in like a little squeezy tube and i have to say i love this product i think that if you need that extra hydration to your skin you're going to absolutely enjoy it. it unfortunately if you're allergic to coconut you're gonna not be able to use this it does have a retail value of 30 dollars i have this in my collection and i just love first aid beauty products so this is formulated with coconut water and other superfood ingredients this complexion enhancing moisturizer instantly brightens and hydrates smooths while helping to blur the appearance of pores the result in beautiful healthy looking skin when worn alone and long lasting makeup when used as a prep step again this is a product too that i will actually just use on those days where i don't want to put on makeup so i will just use this i will use an under eye brightener and then like a, a tinted sunscreen moisturizer perfection so absolutely love this next in here it was funny because i had actually applied blush already i had used my oh, i absolutely love this this is by wonder beauty and this is the on the glow blush illuminator there and this blush oh, i absolutely love 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 it well then i realized that this could be used as a blush as well so i went ahead and powdered over all of that this is that hang I think is our Han healthy active natural all natural multi stick and I love the shade it's in rose berry and I when I opened it up I was like ooh, that's gonna be really similar to the Wonder Beauty one that I absolutely love as far as the shade goes let me show you all I think the Wonder Beauty was a little bit it's a little bit warmer this is definitely a little bit cooler toned y'all see but it's very very similar as far as you know how i did the application what i do i don't like to use a sponge and i don't like to put it directly neither one of them to my skin so what i use is the luxi this is the 504 large angle brush and i just kind of die up right on there and then apply it right up the cheekbones again i thought this was really nice really pretty i think it worked really well definitely cooler than what i'm used to but i feel like again if we just go with like a no makeup makeup day where it's i keep repeating myself but it's just the 
under eye brightener the tinted moisturizer and this and then you can apply this to the lips which i did and i loved that it, it's like a really pretty lip balm type of look you sheer it out a little bit and it's just got like a hint of a popsicle kiss type of look to it little information about this it does have a retail value of $16 and it says this clean natural multi stick delivers healthy looking color for the cheeks eyes and lips this buildable and blendable formula glides on effortlessly and benefits the skin with nourishing ingredients including organic shea butter argan oil and other skin loving ingredients I like this and I think what I'll do is a, a video where I do like my summer, I don't feel like putting makeup on, but I kind of still want to look put together kind of look and I'll incorporate that in this look because you can use it on the eyes if you want and I think it could be really pretty. However, I do get a little nervous. I'll have to definitely make sure I have my Lumify drops in that day because some pinks make me look like girl hasn't slept in a long time okay so the last item in here is by cabe or cab or kab cosmetics this is the day plus night eyeshadow palette with a retail value of 52 dollars. i'll give you my thoughts on that price this palette has a new formula and new sustainable packaging with 18 highly pigmented shades to create looks for both day and night all-in-one product use softer lighter shades to create a favorite daytime look play around you can make a nighttime look we already we already went over that in the sneak peek video okay so this is the eyeshadow palette that i do have on today i did apply um the Too faced chocolate eyeshadow because i'm also filming for my um premium unboxing so you'll see like a hint of a tint of a color on my lids when i start using this palette so let's talk about this palette I love the color story. I told you all that in our sneak peek spoiler. As far as the packaging goes, it is in your typical kind of inexpensive cardboard packaging. It's not, I don't feel like it has like a special type of texture to it or anything like that. It's just, just very simple. It says it's sustainable. Um, it does have a mirror in here. It is a nice mirror. It's not a fun house mirror or anything like that. The color story, very pretty. I told you all of that when we were doing our sneak peek spoilers. So let's talk about the actual formula, which I told you all I really was excited to test out this formula. I'm not going to think about the price tag right now. What I want to focus on are the mattes. I used one, two, three, four, five of the mattes out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am lying. I used one, two, three, four, five, six of the mattes out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Math? No, not my thing. Anywho, so as far as the mats performed, I did like them. There was a little bit of kick up. There was a little bit of fallout. For me, that is not a big deal. Um, it was easy to brush it off. And as far as the shimmers went, I used Sunset and Twinkle Twinkle. So I used these two up through here. That is where I wasn't overly impressed with the formula. As far as the shimmers went, you they're they're kind of lightweight they're not i i wouldn't say they're like eyeshadow topper because i was able to build them up as far as that went on the sunset one i did wet the brush to try and get a like not bigger payoff but like more of a a pigmented payoff in there and i didn't really notice a big difference because with twinkle twinkle i did not wet the brush i just kind of went in and just kept packing and packing and packing and with that said i had fallout and when i brushed it away it had a really pretty like highlight there so that was nice um but overall these two shimmers that i did play around with eh, you know i let's see yeah, I just don't feel like the payoff of the shim. Oh, now that was a good one. So shut your mouth, Rhonda. Okay. So I guess the lighter color shimmers, I just wasn't overly impressed with as far as that went. Um, just because you all know I do a lot of inexpensive videos where I will dupe other like high-end palettes. So when I'm thinking of shimmers, like at this price range of $52, I still want that payoff of that $16, $20 palette, 
but the performance of a 50 some dollar palette you know what i mean i mean we just got a natasha denona palette in our box last month so for me i didn't get that kind of payoff at least with these two shades so it's going to be something that i'm gonna have to come back but i did like i did like the mattes i thought the mattes performed well i definitely like the fact that we had eight mattes in here so that to me is very outstanding i really like that because of the fact that for me i want more mattes and i just want to spice things up a little bit with some shimmers i don't like a palette that has predominantly too many shimmers in there that I'm not going to touch. You know what I mean? So overall, I don't know where the $52 price tag comes in. I don't know if it's because it's more of a independent brand. Now, a lot of y'all told me when I did my sneak peek spoiler video that this palette's available at Walmart for 20 bucks. Now for me, I could see a $20 price tag on this palette. $52, not so much. So I don't know. I don't really understand the whole like, because it's still available on the KAB Cosmetics website for $52. <laughs> but apparently you all said you can go into Walmart and get it for $20. And I'm like, how do they do that? Walmart must have took a big old cut. So anywho, overall, everything in the box, let me total it up for y'all to let you know what this $25 box retail value did come to. Okay, so again, this box is $25 a month and that does include free shipping and everything did come to a total of $152. And I'm just gonna say, even if we took the $30 away, we're still looking at like $120 some dollar retail value for this box because of y'all telling me about the $20 price tag. I haven't seen it. I don't, I haven't seen it. I haven't gone to my Walmart, but either way, I think for $25, we definitely got our money's worth. I love everything in here. Uh, honestly, there's not one product in this box that I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna bother. I will come back and I will use this palette. I mean, again, I loved the way the mattes performed. It was just those two shimmer shades that kind of were like, meh, to me, but I, I definitely, definitely feel like $25 worth absolutely so let me know y'all's thoughts down below I am gonna go ahead and film my premium unboxing which I don't know which one I will put up first but either way let me know y'all's thoughts if you are interested in signing up for boxycharm definitely check my description box down below I do have a link where you can just jump right over to boxycharm and sign up it's not an affiliate link or anything like that it's just a way that I can get y'all over to boxycharm to sign up easier than you guys having to do all this so you're welcome. I don't know. If there's any coupons, I will make sure to list them down below for you all. We have choice for June on May 17th. So um, definitely if you're going to sign up, sign up by that time so you can make your choices. As well as Boxy Pop-Up starts at noon. Lord help my bank account. Anyways, friends, don't forget to check me out over on my second channel, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs, for some plus-size curvy girl fashion hauls. This uh, top was actually featured in one of my Ashley Stewart hauls that I did. Love it. Cozy. Definitely recommend it. Uh, also, give me a follow over on Instagram, because you never know what I'm going to pop up over there. Anyways, friends, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye!